what happens daily in life of an orthopedic surgeon so the day starts with ward rounds we run around get the beatings from the professors we get grinded grounded the opd new consults fracture clinics the scoliosis clinic the pediatric ortho clinics we go to the elective ot's we have the on calls polytrauma open fractures evening we have to document we have to do pre operative workups for the days tomorrow and obviously after that we have the panic pre rounds before the main rounds however it starts and then in between the ward there will be ward calls so this is how the life goes uh, with an orthopedic surgeon so what happens after the ms ortho so 3 years of ms ortho and then you have the senior residency don't do it more than 1 year okay you will you will be wasting your life so maximum 1 year build up your skills be accountable you will get lot of chances in your sr ship you will be doing your fellowships after your residency okay so you will be very much accountable during your sr ship sr ship is the golden period for you that is the time when you you learn you become a small surgeon immediately after first year of sr ship by the end of first year you should be ready in such a way that you do your specialty of choice after ortho okay and then you have to maintain your log books audits presentations and do as much of publications as possible during your pg and sr ship days because after that you won't get any time why orthopedics is rewarding so basically there is immediate pain free period for the patient and patient walks which is a very beautiful moment for us and this is a very respected surgical branch and of course you will be earning a lot of money that is another side of that but don't go behind money you do the best ethical practice you can and patients will follow you money will follow you so this is the spinal cord here you can see how technology has enabled us to you know see things so precisely you can see small tubules and you can see something flowing inside the tubules so those are the rbcs i usually see during my spine endoscopies that's how i can tell about this specialty